Welcome back to the Novus Carpets pregame show on 1360 Radio KSCJ in Sioux City. Our student spotlight tonight, we're joined by East High senior Dakota Blatchford. Dakota, you're a star on the football field. We see you in the baseball field lining up behind the plate. What's your first love, baseball or football? Baseball. Why? Played it longer. It's more fun to me. And when you're a catcher, obviously you're a very, very defensive-minded uh, fellow, but when you're playing catcher, what's the hardest thing a catcher does? Uh, trying to read how to block a ball. And have you taken some off the part that isn't guarded ever? Yeah. Sides of the legs? All the time. Well, that's got to be about the most pain you felt, right? Yeah. All right. Talk a little bit about what you do at the linebacker position. Um, it's mostly pass coverage. And you end up trying to read quarterback eyes or read run pass, that uh, type of thing? Yeah, read run. You just read the run. And if there's no if there's no run, you just drop back into coverage. Is that something that's become easier over the years, playing yeah. that position? How, what What is it that you know now that you didn't know when you started playing linebacker? Uh, I used to be a corner, so and when I played corner, I was pass first. Now I'm... I play, it's about 50-50 on run and pass. At the end of every practice, you guys always say, we are Black Raiders. At the end, every time you guys break a huddle, and whether it's a locker room or practice, what's it mean to you to be a Black Raider? To me, uh, the love of the school. What's, what's so special about this than any other school? Being a Black Raider. <laughs> you got... It's just fun to be a Black Raider. Okay, you've grown up with these guys, lived in Sioux City your whole life. Is it weird that all this is coming to an end soon? Yeah. How fast did four years go by here? Very fast. Way what, too fast. What's been your, your, what's the type of memory that you'll take? Is it something that happened on the field, off the field, in classroom? Um, my baseball memory, when we went to state my sophomore year. What, what, describe that feeling, playing down there at Principal. It, nothing better than that. What was the uh, atmosphere like? I mean, baseball diamonds are all about the same size, but what's, what's so different about going into a park like that? Uh, some pro players have played there. You get to go out there. It's a lot. It's a lot bigger than our baseball field, and just the amount of talent that's down there. It's a, there's a lot more talented players down there than what you'd normally play just during the regular season. It's the best teams in the state. And I know as a catcher, you have a special relationship with every pitcher that you catch for. It's kind of like the center and the quarterback. They seem to have their own special relationship. When you get to know a pitcher and you can kind of anticipate what he's going to be doing, how long does that take to kind of get to know somebody like that well enough to kind of read that you know how this guy's going to throw? Not too long. Normally happens within a few weeks of the basis of the season. All right, and as I've seen you out on the field at games, you're kind of a uh, uh, you're a leader on this team. And uh, are you more of the uh, you're you're a vocal leader? Right? Is that a fair statement? Yes. What? How do you develop that? Is it? Did you have mentors that you saw do that as you grew up through the program? Just learn from the people that used to play the position. All right. Well, Dakota Blatch, for best of luck tonight and the rest of the season. Thank you. That was East High Senior Dakota.